Hello, my lovely peeps, and welcome back to the gloriousness that is Captain Destas Q&A. You know, that one show where you guys send in my questions and I just look at pictures of yetis. Oh, wow, look at that one. That's amazing. I am your host, Captain Destas, and welcome to Q&A, otherwise known as Queens and Arabians, number 18. Yay, we got to at 10. Whoa, that's how old you have to be to have sex with old guys. Woo! If you haven't had sex with a 40 plus year old man, you don't know what you're missing. Old guy sex. Try it today. So the title you guys chose for this week is Destry Succeeds at Life and Dates Juno Temple. Woo! Yeah! Wow, I cannot believe you guys chose this title over the other delicious titles like Destry Chokes on a Fat Smelly Hooker Dick. Destry Skis Backwards with a Salmon in His Ass Crack. Or titles like Nothing to Do with Destry Because He Smells Like Goat Milk. But no, this title was actually nice. So for this once, I will thank Thank you for your very, very nice comment, but I'm ready to continue on with the really, really gnarly one. So this week I chose questions that pertain to relationships, so if you end up taking advice from this video and end up dating a guy or a girl who resembles poorly cooked ravioli or a steaming pile of monkey diarrhea, clearly it's your fault. So anyways, let's continue. First question, donkey pedophiles. Not a question. But good try, thanks. Destry, what is your sex noise? Pretty sure I already answered this, but for the sake of this video, let's do it again. Use some of these sounds in your bedroom setting if you want to make your partner say, Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, no, God damn it! Oh, oh my God, yeah, fuck! <laughs> 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 Wow, that is, oh my god, I, that is the most romantic thing I have ever seen. Destry, me and my boyfriend recently broke up, and he wants to be friends with benefits. What do I do? Well, logical Destry says, don't do it. Do not be the enabler. If he broke up with you and you guys are broken up, just don't give him the satisfaction to be like, Do my vagina! Mildly insane, Destry says, What defines benefits? Because the thing about benefits is they go both ways. So his benefits obviously would be dat ass. But your benefits could be something entirely different, right? Like, think about it for a second. You could totally just walk into his house, unplug his Xbox, pick it up, and just walk out without saying a single word. And when he comes by later and is like, Go go with well, with my Xbox machine. You reply with, well, you said we were friends with benefits, and my benefits happen to be to just go and use your Xbox whenever I want to. No, but that well, do my Xbox me fuck. If your ex-boyfriend sounds like that, it's probably a good thing that he's your ex-boyfriend, right? And you could go all day with this thing. I think a great benefit would just be to go in his house in the middle of the night while he's sleeping and just wear a terrifying fucking mask, sneak up to his ear and say, Hello. I can see your soul. Ah! And just imagine what his friends would say the following days when he comes to school with bags under his eyes. They're like, Yo yeah, man, fuck man, what's up with your things under your eyeballs? I think I'm being haunted by a demon or something because last night he came in and stole my Xbox and then told me he can see my soul and then made a sound that would make a grown man eat his own butthole with chopsticks. So while I can't make you choose one or the other of being his friends with benefit, I can give you creative ideas of what you can do. Well, thank you everyone for sending in your questions which I did not provide a single good answer for. And now we are going to slash our way into the video response question of the day in which we have two and the first one comes from this weird guy named Ahoy Nato. <laughs> And he asked, I'm sitting right next to you. What? Oh, hey. What is your best impression of a bitchy girl in a relationship? Can I just tell you? You can tell me in your next video. Okay. I think my, uh, I think my interpretation of a very bitchy girl in a relationship would probably go something like this. Hey, I'm a bitch. Give me a pot guy, cause I'm hungry. You want this vagina? Well, too bad, cause I'm on my period. Go to this store and get me some. Fucking tampon! I'm not, I'm not doing that. You want me to bleed all over your floor? You want me to bleed to death, you piece of shit? No. I need extra heavy flow tampons. And also get me a Snickers. Then when you get back, you can massage my calf muscles. Cause I just ran two seconds. Can we like snuggle or talk about our day? Or like anything like that? I mean, I've had a really rough day. No, you can massage my calf muscles while I watch Jersey. Sure. I haven't heard of that show. What is it? Jersey! Fucking sure! If you ever sound like that or do that in a relationship, shame on you. Cause you're you're a mean lady. <laughs> so the second video response question of the day comes from Captain Quistina, and she asks, Boy Destry, 
Does it suck when your ex starts dating someone new? Well, thank you for your question, and um, your bookshelf sexually excites me. So does it suck when your ex dates someone new? Well, it all depends on the person and, you know, how much you like that ex. But yes, generally you get a sad face. But for some weird reason, every time a girl dates someone new after me, it's like they date the complete opposite of me. Like here I am, just a well-groomed nerd that makes poop jokes on the internet, and then it seems like after me, their attraction wanes to bearded hairy men with billowing chest hair, who has never heard of a razor in their life, who probably smells of old cheese and rabid donkey penis. In comparison, when asked how my day is, I would reply, really really good actually, I just looked up some photos of Vin Diesel and photoshopped them on to a picture of a bean and created Bean Diesel. Then I played an Affliction Warlock and got my asshole kicked off. Um, and then I started an Olympic event called Furious Masturbating. Yeah, it's a great day. But when asked what his day was like, he would reply, Oh hey, I didn't see you in my manly nursery. Well anyway, I just did some manly things till like man o'clock. Then I decided I definitely wasn't being manly enough, so I went and chopped some firewood. Then I went and learned a new word today, which was candles, pretty cool. Then I had sex with a goat creature up till now. You did what? What? A uh, candle? No, th nothing to do with what we're talking about. Like sometimes it'll be like the manly guy with the muscles, and sometimes it'll be literally Little scrawny dudes that go, Hey bro, what's up, dude, bro? Hammer, fuck yeah, skateboard! Small penis, robots in disguise! Well, cool, that was uh, Queens and Arabians number 18. Make sure to subscribe to this channel as there will be more to come. So, I will see you guys later and fair winds, YouTube.